Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you from Humboldt Redwoods National Park up in Northern California. And I thought it'd be really fun today to share with you some of my camping essentials. So if you caught my last video about my camping kitchen essentials, if you haven't, I'll link it in the card for you. Um, in that video, I sort of talked about the things that I consider essentials with cooking and camping. Um, and in that video, I shared that my goal is to not really buy anything new specifically for camping but to use the things that I have at home and to try to stay plastic free. This video is a little bit different because I have had to buy new things but I'll tell you about that when I get to it. So I really didn't camp very much before I got married. I camped with a friend's family a couple of times in like junior high but my family didn't really camp very much when I was younger. So when Nick and I got married we started camping a lot together because it was a really inexpensive way to be able to get out and see nature and we love nature and being outside. So this love of camping has really grown just over the last couple years for me. So when we first started camping we didn't have any of our own gear and I don't think it's necessary to like um, buy a bunch of stuff before your first trip it's so easy to be able to borrow from people or even rent from different stores so I just want to put that out there too don't let the fact that you don't have gear stop you from getting out there and camping because you can get it you can get around it by borrowing stuff from people today I'm gonna to show you the things that we have purchased over the past few years and why I bring them camping and why I like them so the first thing I'm gonna share is this light. It actually opens like this. And it's a lantern and then you can squish it and then it's a flashlight. And the reason I like this is because it's solar powered. So we can actually charge our phones on here. We don't usually because we have like a separate phone charger situation, but let's see if I can open this. It's really handy to have if you are in a pinch. And again, I love that it doesn't take batteries. It just um, gets charged by the sun. And this is actually a really powerful light. So we've had this. I want to say this was one of the first camping purchases we bought together, right, Nick? Nick's helping me film over there, so thank you. Um, but anyway, it's really held up well. We usually just keep it in the car all the time. And yeah, I definitely think that a light is an essential when you're camping. We also have this big one. This is like a super heavy duty one. And this is cool too, because it has lights on both sides of the lantern and they're also detachable. So if you just push right here, oops, there's a hair on it. Um, you can like take this if you're going to the bathroom at night and not have to lug around the huge thing and it's nice if there's a bigger party because you know you can leave one light at camp and then take another one if you're needing to go to the bathroom or something like that so this has been a really handy tool um, as well for us and it has a rechargeable battery on the bottom again that's super important because I don't want to be going through batteries um, unnecessarily so solar power Oh, Nick's just saying that we bought three chargeable batteries separately, which I was unaware of. So if you're in the market for a new light, make sure that it's either solar powered or has an option for a rechargeable battery so you're not wasting batteries. Okay, should I just set these right here? Okay, up next, let's see. So this is actually the newest thing that we've purchased for our travels and we bought this um, because our Westfalia doesn't have a radio or any sort of CD player or anything. And it's gonna be pretty expensive to like figure that out and buy a new one. So we just got this little wireless Bluetooth speaker. Um, this is actually pretty cool because I think it's like water resistant or something, which is crazy. And um, you can, is it called tethering when you like connect them? So if you have friends that also have the same Bluetooth speaker, you can connect them to make like surround sound wherever you are, which is kind of fun. Um, but we just use this if we're driving in our Westphalia for you know music or even at our campsite. Um, it's really high quality and I feel like we haven't had any issues with it yet. Would you say, Nick? It's really rugged and um, yeah, it's nice that it's bright because it's easy to find like in the car or whatever. And I just love having a downloaded playlist, like a downloaded Spotify playlist or something that we can always have um, no matter what, so that we can always have some music going. So we have a playlist called... I would also say that's a camping essential. 
you should come sit over here with me. Nick is telling me that having a downloaded playlist is also a camping essential, and I absolutely agree with that. I feel like when we first started camping, we would always be like driving into Yosemite when the trees started getting big, and we were like, oh, let's listen to Led Zeppelin, it's gonna be so rad. And then like our, we don't have any music for the whole ride because we forgot to download a playlist. So don't forget to download a playlist. If you don't get any of the stuff that I'm talking about, do that one thing and you'll be a happy camper. <laughs> Or a book from Audible, not sponsored, but Audible, call me. I love your service. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else. The next thing I have, again, this is sort of a techie thing, and this probably isn't necessary for everyone, but when Nick and I travel, we always have camera gear with us. So this is a little inverter. It's great because um, we can connect it to the cigarette lighter of our car and it charges batteries as we drive. So this isn't something that you can, um, you can't charge anything when your car's not on or not you know when you're not driving but it is really helpful for all of our camera batteries when we're on the road on long road trips do you have anything else you want to say about this super handy not super necessary if you don't have like a ton of things that you're needing to charge but between the two of us we have we have quite a bit of gear so yes we like this i also have a smaller i mean you can get smaller chargers as well that just plug into your phone too and that's great but again if you have a lot of gear this is a great option as well okay so now we're getting into some of the smaller things i brought a hat just because i feel like bringing a hat is always essential um maybe not in the redwoods because there's always a beautiful canopy of trees and there really isn't that much sun um but this is easy to store either like on the dashboard of the car if it's big enough or just in the trunk and i find that whenever i don't bring a hat i regret it so i wanted to include that in this video too put that right there up next we have fire starters so we bought this package of fire starters because they're environmentally friendly and the whole container is um, recyclable or even compostable and the fire starters just look like this we also had some tinder just like little bits of wood like this um, chopped up really small which work great and then even like paper can work well for a fire starter but these are just really useful to have um, and again it's nice that the whole package can be either recycled or composted so there's that and they last a really long time there's 72 pieces in here so when did we buy this years ago, years ago? Nick's saying we bought this years ago so that's pretty cool they last a while up next I have a reusable water bottle so this technically could go in the like um, kitchen essentials video but I don't know I forgot to include it in that so I'm including it in this video I personally like this top because um, I feel like it's easy to drink out of especially if you have hotter drinks it keeps the heat in um, as opposed to like Nick's bottle so Nick has this style of bottle oops which is perfectly great too actually this is probably more um, this is probably a smarter choice when hiking because he uses a carabiner and attaches this to his backpack um, and I can't do that with mine and I sort of don't like that the part that I put my mouth on is like out touching other stuff but I'm weird about that so you know to each their own just any kind of reusable water bottle is an essential absolutely for camping and just for everyday life too so I'll put those right there cute okay we're on the last three things guys so I have some lavender essential oil and I always bring this I mean I really keep this with me pretty much all the time because you can use lavender for a plethora of different things but I specifically bring it camping um, because it's great for skin irritation so bug bites any sort of like cuts or bruises um, you can put some lavender essential oil on your skin and it'll help calm your skin and any irritation that you have so I absolutely love lavender it's also really calming so if you're like stressed driving or something you can just put a drop in your hands rub your hands together and then inhale and it um, will have a calming effect on you um, sorry there's bugs everywhere but anyway so this is just an essential again like sort of a life essential for me and yeah I love lavender essential oil so put that there the last two things I have are bug spray. I have a different um, 
bug spray that I like, but we had to buy this at a store when we were driving up here because we ran out. And I like this one because it doesn't have DEET in it um, and it doesn't have any harmful ingredients for the environment or for me, for us. So it's eco-friendly, it says great for kids. I feel like if things are great for kids, they're like safe for me too. So sometimes I look for that and it's organic and natural. And I love that it comes in a metal container. This will be super easy for me to reuse after I'm done with this bug spray. Maybe I can make my own or refill it with something else. Um, so I love that. And I do find that it works well. It smells like um, citronella. It has peppermint, rosemary, geranium, um, citronella, lemongrass, and some other stuff in it. It does have soybean oil in it, but you know, whatever. Gluten-free, cruelty-free, DEET-free, all the good stuff. So we've been using that on this trip. And then the last thing I have is just a Castile soap. So when I travel or when I camp, I like to really keep my toiletries down to a minimum. And so the reason I love Castile soap is that I can use it to wash my dishes and I can use it to like wash my hands and my body. So this is the Dr. Bronner's Hemp Eucalyptus Castile Soap. I bought this in bulk and I love it because I usually buy um, like a big container of Castile soap when I'm at home, but I was able to get this in bulk and I wouldn't have gotten this scent in like a huge container because it's um i don't know maybe i will because i actually really like it do you like this scent nick i really like it so maybe i will next time but what i'm saying is that it's great it's multi-purpose and it doesn't have any multi-purpose multi-use i guess I, I guess i should say it doesn't have any harmful ingredients in it that would be bad for um you know animals or the environment if it if we have to like wash our hands and it gets on the floor or something on the ground so this is just a great all-around product for camping or home too so i'll put that there and then should we talk about tent stuff too i'll just do a bonus Here's a camping bonus thing for you guys. So like I was saying, when Nick and I first started camping, when we got married five years ago now, oh my gosh, five years ago, um, almost five years, um, we didn't have any camping stuff that was our own. So we borrowed his parents' tent. We had a sleeping bag that was like huge and it was so, it was so annoying to have to roll up and pack away. It was like traveling with another person it was so big but anyway one of the big um, sort of investments I guess we made in our camping products once we you know realized that this was something we really loved to do and something that we would continue to do in the future is we invested in our sleeping stuff so for us that meant getting sleeping mats um, I'll link the products that we have down below but we love our sleeping mats I feel like if you are sleeping well, everything else in your life sort of falls into place. <laughs> At least when you're camping, when you're, you know, hiking and everything, it feels so nice to be able to get into your tent at the end of the day and have a really comfortable place to sleep. So sleeping mats are an absolute necessity in my book. Again, I spent, you know, four and a half years camping without them. And then when I was younger, I didn't have them either. Um, we used to have yoga mats that we would put under our sleeping bags and those worked well, but they're not as comfortable as a sleeping mat. So if camping something that you're interested in and you're looking for like what your first purchase is gonna be um, when it comes to your camping supplies, I would say a sleeping mat for sure. Again, we car camp, so our sleeping mats are bigger, but there are so many different varieties and you know, smaller ones for if you backpack or whatever. I've never backpacked before, so I, you know, I'm not gonna give any information about that because I don't know anything about backpacking. I'd love to in the future maybe. Would you ever backpack? You don't think I could backpack? I think I could, well, okay. <laughs> That's another topic for another video. But anyway, after our sleeping mats, we got new sleeping bags and we love them. They're super warm. They go down to like 19 degrees, right? So anyway, those are my two little bonus things. Um, and then, yeah, the tent. A, tent, a tarp for under the tent if you want to try to keep moisture from getting up onto your tent. Um, stakes. Nick's saying he wants to buy an axe next. We don't have an axe yet, but we'll see about that. And yeah, so those are my really basic camping essentials. I'm pretty sure I got everything. I'll link other things if I forget in the description below. So make sure you read that. Um, 
yeah I think I got everything though the, the basics so anyway I hope you guys like this video um, make sure you give it a like if you did like it so I know to make more content like this for you um, and thank you so much to those of you who are supporting me on patreon and I'll see you in my next one bye